All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another quick video. All right, y'all, shout out to my man BJ from No Field Timmy, man. He just did a video on this, on his channel just today. And I want to do one as well, just kind of give my thoughts on um, the return of his favorite fighter, Casey O'Neill. All right, you know, this is our division. The flyweight division is the division that is on fire right now. And look, we cover all the fighters over here. I know BJ thinks I hate Casey O'Neill, but no, I don't hate her. I don't hate Casey O'Neill, all right? Look. I'm, I'm a little harsh when it comes to critiquing her, but hey, you know, I still look, I still like this division as a whole. And um, yeah, not much going on this weekend. So I said, let's talk about some flyweights, you know, not much, no UFC this weekend. So let's, let's speak on some flyweights. But uh, yeah, uh, BJ posted this up, this video a few hours ago. And um, yeah, Casey O'Neill posted up on her IG that fight news is coming with that little, with the little eye emojis and the little kangaroo. I guess that's just saying that, look, be on the lookout. She's coming back soon. No date, no opponent yet, but I'm assuming that she's probably coming back late July, sometime, well, late June, sometime in July or August, but sometime this summer. I mean, if she's posting it up now and we've already seen her back in the cage, you know, rolling and training with Tatiana Suarez and Taylor Godardo and all these other fighters, you know, hitting the mitts and doing all of that, I'm sure that, yeah, she's probably going to sign a fight sometime this summer. All right. So I just wanted to talk about who I think she should be matched up with, who I think it's going to be at this point. All right. But uh, yeah, like I said, look, BJ, look, I don't hate Casey O'Neill. I just think that there's certain levels that she needs to reach before we can actually put her in it, put her in there as a threat. Of course, she is a top 15 fighter, but, you know, right now she's at the bottom and I honestly don't see her beating any other top 15 fighters. You know, maybe Jasmine, that would have been a good fight. But other than that, I still think that Casey O'Neill has a lot of work to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. She's only 26 years old. You know, she hasn't even hit her prime yet. You know, um, she's coming off of two good. I, I say two good losses because those are fights that she can learn from. And I knew she would lose those two fights because those fighters that she fought, they're well-rounded. You know, those are two good, well-rounded fighters with good takedown defense, good striking, uh, good movement. That's going to force her to work. And I believe that. Uh, with that type of, um, with those type of fights on her resume, they're only going to make her better if she's learning from it. And I, I think Casey O'Neill has nothing to be ashamed of with losing those two fights, you know? Um, so with that being said, I think with Casey O'Neill right now being number 14, I think, yeah, it would definitely be wise for them to match her up with somebody, with somebody 15 and below. Of course not Jasmine now. But I did want to see her in there with the number 15, Jasmine, Jazzy Vicious. That would have been a good fight. But now Jazzy, she's lined up to take on uh, Viviana Arujo in uh, what July, right? You know, um, so that's a good fight too. But I thought that would have been a nice style matchup: Casey O'Neill versus Jasmine. You know, these are two volume hitters, two gritty fighters going at it. You know, sometimes they just put technique out the door and they just fight, right? So that would have been a good one. And another one, of course, is not happening. Would have been nice because it was an unranked fight. Is uh, Casey O'Neill versus Miranda Maverick? And you know, that was one that I say that's that's a good one too because. Uh, a little while back, I just did a video. Guy Miranda Maverick made that call out. You know, she said, "I, I want to fight Viviana Rujo, or I want to fight Casey O'Neill." You know, so she did call out Casey O'Neill. You know, she wanted that 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 uh, number thirteen, number fourteen spot at the time. So yeah, that would have been a good one. But Miranda Maverick taking on Tracy Cortez now, but it's definitely got to be somebody unranked. I know that sounds harsh, but yeah, Casey O'Neill fourteen, um, coming off of two losses. You know, against uh, you know two polished girls that are ranked higher than her now um i think it would be wise for her yet yeah, to definitely fight somebody that's not in the rankings to get her better you know and uh i i think that the best fights for her right now would be like i've been saying since a couple weeks ago veronica hardy since veronica hardy beat jj aldridge I, th I think that would be a good fight for her. definitely a good fight for veronica hardy for entering the uh top 15 you know, that's a good fight for her. uh but like bj said um I think uh, Marina Moreau would be a good fight for. Uh, I don't want to give her like throwaway fights or fights where girls are just coming in like Petrovic or something like that or Teresa Blader because they're still growing themselves. But I think that two dangerous unranked fighters right now would be Marina Moreau and Veronica Hardy. Why? Because I think those are two fighters that she could beat, but I could also see them beating her, which means they are a test for. Her. You know, I think Veronica Hardy's got that movement. I think she's got that deceptive power, those sneaky head kicks and that straight left hand and just that overall movement. 
and her dog, man, like whenever you get on the inside of Veronica Hardy, she starts kicking and knee, and you know, she's vicious like that as well. So that's a good fight. You know, that's a good fight to test um, Casey O'Neill's defense or growing defense and how well she can take these shots, right? Um, Marina Moreau, also a well-rounded fighter, you know, boxer, wrestler. Um, that's another one where I could see her being able to outpoint Casey O'Neill, but at the same time, Casey O'Neill has that pressure and volume that could pull her out, uh, pull out a victory for. Her. But in order to to get any, to to in order to get a victory over either of these fighters, there's got to be some changes in um, Casey O'Neill. And the number one thing I got to say with Casey O'Neill is her defense. You know that that defense is what cost her victories against Maya. Because Maya just outpointed her, out soundly outboxed her and outstruck her and outpointed her. And then Ariane Lipsky put her on wobbly legs with them big right hands. You know, you can't go in there trying to fight these two fighters like Roxy. You know, you got to you got to adjust. And I think that's the one thing that she needs to do. Like she has high volume, good long punches, but Casey O'Neill needs to fully extend her punches. You know, she needs to fully extend and not leave with the face. She's got to take her head off the line. Just those little things like that in order to get past these girls. So, yeah, she could win against a Veronica Hardy, Marina Moreau, but these type of changes have to be made to get these victories. And that's where I could see them beating her. Like, if she doesn't improve her defense and she doesn't fully extend her shots and she doesn't get physically stronger. Like, strength is really key in the flyweight division. Like, every girl that's made it up to the top or gotten the title shot has gotten physically stronger. And that's something I talk about in another video down the line here. Like, to compete at flyweight, you got to be well-rounded, but you got to be physically strong as well. Like all these girls that are at the top, got title shots, are physically strong. Valentina was physically strong. Um, Alexa Grasso to win the belt, physically strong. Look at the muscle she put on. A girl is strong. Look at the arms on her, right? She's not just muscle, but she's physically strong now. Manon, you know, she's got the size, but she's physically strong. She knows how to use it. That's why she's at the top right now. Manon is strong strong all right tyler santos when she got her shot physically strong right all these girls aaron blanchfield physically strong just too small for somebody to know but physically strong those those were some strong fighters natalia silva's a strong fighter kareem silva's a physically strong fighter um all of these girls you know all of these girls have to have some type of strength that's why i kept saying even with Fighters like Rose, like Rose, she, she has to fill out in this division, not just be bigger, but she's got to be strong to hold her own. You know, um, you got to have you just got to have that. So hopefully Casey O'Neill, you know, that's something that they're working on, strength and conditioning, you know, get her core tighter, get her stronger. Her legs got to be solid. You got to have that solid foundation and the legs will help bring power. <laughs> the, the legs will definitely help bring power, you know, because legs are stronger than the arms. You know, they're bigger muscle than arms, you know. So, yeah, I just think that those are some things that um, KCO needs to, needs to work on. Physical strength, defense, uh, extending her shots out all the way. I know she does, but I'm just meaning to the point where, you know, she's not getting hit in the face because she's got a long reach. You know, KCO O'Neill's got a long reach for this division. What is it? Um, Hold on. Let's see here. Yeah, she's 5'6", and her reach is a 69. Yeah, so, you know, she's a long fighter for the division. You know, young, 26. So, yeah, no rush for her to fight at the fight at the top again. You know, this is a good learning experience for her, just like the last two L's were, you know. So, yeah, to me, I'd like to see Casey O'Neill in there with Veronica Hardy or um, Marina Moreau. Those are two good fights for her. And if she can win those fights, good. And she's got to win them in dominant fashion. But if she loses, whew. Man, some questions will be answered, but hopefully a lot of the training and the wrestling training with Tatiana Suarez is going to rub off on her. Um, definitely want to see her come back and do well because, you know, I like the, I like the fighters in the flyweight division. I like all of them. I like how they round this thing out. You know, she does bring a, a type of flair to the division as well, you know. So, yeah, man, um, who do you all want to see Casey O'Neill fight next? He's got fight news coming up soon. Probably be this sometime this summer. I'll be on the lookout. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.